Welcome or welcome back to my channel and to this video today which is about my vintage Chanel handbags. So I'm lucky enough to own two vintage Chanel handbags, um, both purchased this year, earlier part of the year, February, March, it's now May. So I'm going to show you them both and I'll show you in order that they were purchased. So this is the first bag I bought, they were both from the Vestia Collective. As you can see, this is a leather bag. Um, it's clearly very old. I don't know how old it is. If any of you have any ideas, then please let me know. Put something in the comments. I'd love to find out more about this bag. So I'll just show you around the bag. That's obviously the front, the uh, gold-plated CC popper. The popper's still strong and good and the CC is absolutely beautiful still. So there's the front, there's not many marks, there's just a bit of wear and tear, which is fair enough for a bag of its age. This is the side, and this gives you a better view of what the colour would have been like when it was new, it was more of a, a creamy colour. And the back of the bag, Again, there's some wear on the back. It does look worse on camera than it truly is. And this side you'll see there is a little tassel. And there's a popper here that clips the zipper down to the back. It's got the beautiful gold plated Chanel strap. Uh, inside the bag, it's surprisingly roomy bag actually, if I unzip it all the way, I can show you if I unpop this. That's the inside of the bag. It's actually very, very good. You see it's fabric. There's just one zip pocket. Which says Chanel here, it's very faded and the zip pull has the little CC. Inside the bag it doesn't have the uh, serial number but you can see there that's where it, it was present on the bag but isn't any longer. I didn't get anything with this, it didn't come with a dust bag or any other papers. This was a near disaster. If you've watched my other video, I've done an unboxing on this bag and explanation of, of the backstory. So if you've seen that, you'll know. I'll link it in the comments, in, in, case, in the description, sorry, in case anyone wants to go ahead and watch that. But this bag had been on Vestiaire for over a year. Lots of people were watching it and had asked questions. The majority of the questions had gone unanswered. The description was very poor. The photographs were even worse. I asked some questions um, about measurements, about condition, things like that. They got ignored. A couple of the earlier questions had been answered by Vestier. Um, I put in loads of offers just over time, over several weeks. They were not accepted or rejected. They were just ignored. So. I did the one thing that I would never advise anyone to do. I shouldn't have done it. Don't you do it. It was really stupid. I went ahead and bought the bag. I just couldn't get it out of my head. And it arrived. I was so relieved. I was so concerned about this bag. And I thought, oh, if the worst comes to the worst. And it's really awful. I can dye it and all this kind of stuff. I was thinking, I just got lucky. I was so, so lucky and I absolutely adore this bag. I think it's beautiful. I love how vintage it is. Um, I really like to dress it down. It's really lovely with jeans. The strap, you can't wear cross body. Well, I can't, maybe if you were slimmer, you could. Um, so I just wear like so as a, a shoulder bag. And I just think it's really, really lovely. It looks good with any outfit. And I am so delighted with this bag. But I was very, very lucky. And this is the second bag in my uh, vintage Chanel collection. 
another beautiful bag and this is the Timeless Classic. This is from the Travel Line, which I believe was the year 2000 to 2002. Um, you'll see it's fabric, not leather. I'll just show you around the bag. So this is the front, you'll see that there's the CC here, the CC clasp, which is silver, which is working beautifully. Very, very good condition. Show you around the bag. It's kind of a beige color. They did do this bag in um, black, purple, beige. I think there was a yellow, um, several colors. Mona Lisa pocket, which I love. I can fit my phone in there. I can fit my iPhone 12 mini in there. So I'm very happy. It's got the lovely strap interwoven makes that wonderful sound that we all love Chanel lovers um, and you'll see the strap is more of the fabric interwoven is that focusing so inside the bag is a silky satin material the interior but this portion of the bag is lambskin which again is beautiful it's so soft it's just stunning. This one did come with the dust bag and the card. The dust bag is faded, it's, it's old obviously, but it's very nice to have that. And I also got the identity card with the serial number to show you the interior. It's a kind of silky sat satin. There's a slip pocket at the back and a zip pocket. And inside there is the serial number. Um, oh, and the main part of the bag, the serial number's right down in this corner. I don't think I can show you that. So I absolutely adore this bag. I think it's beautiful. It's near perfect condition. Um, this purchase was completely different to the first one. The seller was really lovely, answered questions and um, responded to offers and and it, it was brilliant um, so no problems at all so this one I quite often wear on my shoulder I don't ever wear it cross body it finishes too high up um, and probably my favorite way to wear is as a longer shoulder strap my cat's running around and I quite often just hold it and swing I just sort of grab grab the chain higher up so yeah really really beautiful bag so those are my two vintage Chanel handbags I adore them both they're beautiful what do you think would you buy something different do you like these do you like the travel line I would consider buying um, other bags in that range and I'll, I will keep a lookout they do some nice kind of tote sort of bags, which I might buy if I can find a really good one. They will see a little bit more affordable than the leather versions and still beautiful. I forgot to say this portion on the front of the bag is leather. Just this part and inside the flap. Anyway, so that was my two Chanel vintage bags. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I've got loads more content coming up. Um, if there's anything particular that you want to see, that you want me to talk about more, just let me know. You can pop something in the comments. I love to chat. Um, or you can email me or find me on Twitter. All the details are on my profile. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.